Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and today's video is a very special video and a really big milestone. So today is the 13th of October 2023 and exactly 10 years ago today I uploaded my very first YouTube video. I honestly can't put into words how much YouTube and vlogging, making videos means to me. Like, I started this channel, I created the channel on the 4th of April 2013, but I didn't upload until October of that year. I just created the channel really just to watch other people's videos i never intended to start making youtube videos but whilst i was in secondary school i watched like other people like big youtubers like zoe and alpha and all the british youtubers gan and i was like i want to be documenting my life and i didn't want to start off doing it when I was like you know a teenager because I didn't know like if it was going to like affect my school life or what it was going to do so I was very hesitant to actually upload my first YouTube video because um I started telling people in my school like my, my whole year group was quite small so you know a rumour was said and then everybody the, <laughs> the following day would know the exact same rumour. Um, so I was very scared at the fact that my entire school would find out. I mean, I wasn't bothered about the people's finding out. I was more bothered about like, the teachers. I didn't know like if it was okay to do that while I was in school because I didn't know about like the safeguarding rights, etc. I didn't know like if it was okay for me to do that. So I was quite like hesitant, but I was like, do you know what? I'll just give it a go. And, you know, if I don't like it or if it goes against like the safeguarding rights, etc., then obviously, you know, I can cut off and not do anything. And little <laughs> 14 year old me, I am now 24. Like that still doesn't blow my mind that I'm 24 years old. Uh, started off and I actually didn't film my face. Like, my first ever video was not my face. Uh, it was me showing you what was on my phone. And I had an iPhone for, I want to say, like, either 4, 4S kind of phone. Uh, here is, like, a little clip of that. Uh, and... I started off with all my videos for, a, I think, a good few years. I started off by saying, hey guys, it's Rebecca GXOXO. Um, because that was my username back then. Because I was like, I'll just take my name. So my first name and part, like, the first initial of my second name. And then add, I don't know why I added the XOXO. Probably because I needed to add something, you know, along the lines of, like, a number or something to make it a bit longer um and i don't know why i added the xo xo well, probably because i was like oh it's hookers and kisses <laughs> um, i don't know what was going through my brain back then and i intended on just you know never filming my face and just filming that little like what's on my iphones that little vlogs now and again but like i didn't really know about like vlogging like in terms of like because my life isn't very special at all it still isn't special i don't do everything every day this isn't a job to me like it is to some of the youtubers like um some of the youtubers do earn um money and a living off youtube i don't and i still have not earned a single penny from youtube and this is me being completely honest with you guys never earned a single penny from youtube <clears throat> i never have done never done any sponsorship or brand deals with youtube or any other brands because i am not a big youtuber 
I still to this day only have 557 subscribers and I've always said from the very beginning that subscribers, money, this isn't a job to me, it is a hobby and eventually if it does become a job, I'll be very grateful for that, don't get me wrong and if I ever do reach a thousand subscribers, that would be absolutely amazing but even if I just still have 557 subscribers this time 10 years down the line, I'm still going to be very happy with that. I don't care about the subscribers, the likes, the dislikes, the comments, hate comments. Uh, it's never been about that, YouTube, for me. YouTube, for me, is about documenting my life, letting you guys know what's happening in my life, what's happening in the world bringing you along on holidays, bringing you along on challenges, shopping hauls, makeup tutorials, try on hauls, you name it. And I love making the content that I was making back then. I still do that. So I have filmed shopping hauls. I have filmed birthdays, Christmases. I've done Vlogmas for nine years this year. Um, I didn't, I don't, I didn't do it in 2013, I know that. I know I started in 2014, but I think maybe only 20, I think the first year I didn't vlog every single day in December. I think I've only vlogged like a few days, I'm pretty certain. <clears throat> and I know for a little bit, for a few years, I vlogged like New Year's Eve and New Year's Day <clears throat> because I know a lot of like vlogmases um, stop on the 24th of December and people don't film like Christmas Day, Boxing Day, and then the, the other days leading up to New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Um, but I've always been the one wanting to film Christmas Day because it's just like. A, I spend it with my family and uh, I love to, like, you know, create the memories of, like, the opening of presents, etc. And, like, looking back and being like, oh, you know, like, I filmed a few times with, like, my great mama and unfortunately she's not here anymore. So it's really good to, like, look back on those videos. And some of the years I wouldn't, like film <clears throat> Christmas Day because like it's hard to film like when I'm with my family because there's only really my mum and Richard who want to be on camera the other members of the family obviously don't want to be on camera and I respect their decision and I respect their wishes because you know they're my family but the same goes for friends Um, I respect their wishes and if they don't want to be on camera i'm not going to shove a camera or my phone in their face and be like well tough look you're going to be on camera because i'm a youtuber and i film my life that's never been the case for me i always ask when i'm with people i'm like right i'm going to be filming a little bit for my vlog if you want to be in it you can be in it if not that's totally fine you can i'll not i'll sit away from you and not obviously film yeah and yeah it's just been a really great i mean it has had its ups and downs like in terms of things that have happened in my life you know you've been there for me throughout my health journey um more recently as well uh you've been here for me when i updated to do to about my great nanan um, with like the amount of times she would go in hospital and her uh, illness, like dementia, and then unfortunately when she sadly passed away, you've been there for me for my mum's health and she got her keyhole surgery. Um, my health, just I've always wanted to be open and honest with you guys on my YouTube channel, and I think I personally think I'll come across to open and honest to you guys. I really hope I do. Um. Because I've always been the one of wanting to share. Well, when I say I want to share everything, I try my best to share everything. Obviously, personal details, or I might not like 
film like you know obviously when I'm ill I don't personally film unless I am filming that day I try not to include too much footage of me not feeling well and stuff but in terms of like uh, mental health wise I try my best and let you guys know my, you know what's happening because if I don't post for like a few weeks or like a couple of months and obviously you guys are wondering where I've been um, and that has happened a fair few times in my YouTube channel where I've not uploaded for like months on end or even like a few weeks and obviously you guys have like been worried and like oh my god are you like leaving YouTube what's happening when's the next video majority of the time is because <clears throat> I don't really have any content or any ideas on what to create because like I've mentioned um, I don't go out anywhere much in terms of like opportunities and stuff like I'm not like a, a type of YouTuber that goes into London for a press event or goes to London <clears throat> or anywhere for like a YouTube event and stuff because I don't get invited to them because I'm a small YouTuber which I think really helps with me and my anxiety. <clears throat> I think if I was at that stage where brands specifically were inviting like me and obviously other influencers and YouTubers, I definitely don't think I would go on the trips, even though it'd be amazing for me and my growth and obviously YouTube and um, my channel. But I don't think I could because of my anxiety and my anxiety, fair enough, has gotten worse like throughout the years. Trust me, like, don't get me wrong because when... I was a lot <clears throat> younger. I did used to do a lot more stuff than I do now. And I think my anxiety uh, plays a lot on like my depression and panic attacks that I have all the time. And then my panic attacks makes me really ill. And now coming to the effect of my uh, new diagnosis of non-epileptic seizures, I'm very aware and alert of what I can and can't do. Um, it doesn't mean to say I can't not do anything. Like, it's not limiting me from going out or anything. It just, I need to, like, prepare and get things, like, ready or, like, be prepared whilst I'm outside to... If something, you know, if I was to faint in public, then, like, you know, I have, like, people around me. Make sure I have, like, people who I know and trust around me. So, yeah. Wow. Mental. So, I thought I would do a little montage of, like, some, like, clips from, like, the years. Some, like, really funny ones. Um from the start of like my youtube channel and throughout the years to like now and i'm going to create like a little montage for you guys at the end but honestly i can't thank you guys enough you guys are the ones that make me want to carry on creating youtube videos carry on with this youtube journey and I'm really excited for the future, like, I now have a boyfriend of nearly four years, four years next year, and you guys have come with me on that journey of being single to me dating, like, people on the internet for it to not work out, <clears throat> and then for like, my friendships and stuff, because I've had two friendships that have been on my, like, YouTube channel that I don't ever will not speak to ever ever again and um, and i have shown those people in my videos and um, so there is videos still out there that personally i don't ever, <clears throat> ever watch again but i don't want to get rid of them in as well because even though it hurts me and pains me to watch those videos because i generally am happy in that moment i don't want to get rid of the memories even though they are bad memories i don't want to get rid of them because it shows my um growth and strength and i'm now lucky that the people that i have in my life now my boyfriend and both of my best friends 
I'm extremely, extremely lucky and thankful for those guys. But I'm equally very, very, very thankful and grateful for you guys because, like I said, you guys make me want to still carry on creating videos. If you ever see me out and about, I know I'm not like a big YouTuber and I don't have a meet and greet. But sometimes people do come up to me and be like, oh my god, like, I can't watch your videos. And then we have like pictures and it's just, it just baffles me because I'm a small YouTuber that people come up to me, especially when I'm in Blackpool. <clears throat> a few people will even message me saying, I'm going to Blackpool, I hope to see you. And like, it, it just baffles me that people come up to me and be like, oh my God, I watch you on YouTube. Kind of please have a picture. It's crazy, like really crazy. <clears throat> and I'm just extremely thankful for you guys. So I'm really, really excited for the future of this channel because, you know, could be like creating a family. Also, it's like my channel might like go in a different direction in a fair few years because, you know, if I want to start a family, then obviously I've got to think about what content I'll be doing for that. Obviously, if I get married, that content, which is crazy to me because I'm watching people who have just recently just got engaged <clears throat> or just got married. And I'm like, oh, wow, like that could be me in a fair few years. I'm not saying it will be, you know, I might not, but I just, I just don't know. We have talked about it like a lot that we do want to get engaged, we do want to get married and we do want to start a family. But now it's not our priority to start a family because we, we want to be financially able to start a family first and foremost. So, yeah. But I really don't know what else to say apart from a big, big thank you. Like, if it wasn't for you guys, I probably wouldn't be carrying on my YouTube channel. Like, yes, there has been moments in my 10 years that I have thought about quitting YouTube and not uploading a video mainly like when like hate comments have gotten to me or like friendships have ended and I'm like I don't want to create any videos because I'm not happy and I try my level best to <clears throat> you know let you guys in on the difficult times that I have and I try my level best to I only ever post videos when I am ready and when I feel that I want to post the videos. If I'm in a depressive like episode or t um, depressive few months, and I will take that time to focus on myself before I whack a camera out and be like, look, I'm not feeling too great here. This is the reason why. I have also filmed a fair few years of me going to Blackpool. I believe I started filming in 2015 um I think I filmed like on and off from like 2015 I can't quite remember exactly when I started vlogging like the full holidays that um we did because uh we used to do in July we used to do two full weeks in Blackpool in July um and then it, in October, we would do the five days because it was like the illuminations. But we've had to change that due to my mum's health. Um, we can only now go uh, for a week in the summer and we still do the five days in October. But I have, I think I have filmed every single year in Blackpool from 2015. I'm pretty certain I might have. I filmed on day trips that I've been on. Christmas markets that I've been on uh, and it's crazy and I love it I love watching back my old videos yeah they might be cringy and I used to put on like this weird like voice at the start of my videos like hi guys it's Rebecca DXOXO I don't know if that was because I was young and that was my voice or I did it because I want you to stand out from the other people, but now I'm just, I just talk in my normal everyday voice. This is my actual speaking voice, and it's, you know, I don't put any accents. I am a true Yorkshire person, here and foremost. 
but yeah, I love, love watching back my videos with my mum, especially. We watch back our holiday videos, especially the Blackpool, closer to when we're going to Blackpool because it, it gets us excited for going back and we're like, oh, we did that on that day. Or, um, that was the outfit we wore. Let's not wear the same outfit or take the same outfit. Oh, wow, that's a nice handbag. Oh, that's sad that we got rid of it, <laughs> kind of thing. So, yeah, I'm really, really grateful for my YouTube journey and I'm can't wait to carry on this YouTube journey. And hopefully, in another 10 years' time, I'll be making another one of these videos. I'll be flipping 34 years old then. What? It's, it even still baffles me that I'm 24. Like, I only just recently turned 24 in April. I know that's not recent, but... It so baffles me that I'm 24 years old and I'm now an adult. I was a teenager when I started this channel. I'm now an adult. Don't feel like an adult. I still feel like 14 year old me. But, yeah. Let's go and do a little montage. So excited. Hi, everyone. So today I'm going to be doing the lots on my iPhone. And this is my first video on YouTube. So please forgive me if the lighting is bad or my camera is not straight because I'm filming with my iPad. So I have the right iPhone 4. My case is just this owl case. I got this from Claire's for £15. So this is a snap-on case. So let's get right into the video. So for my lock screen, I have this Mewtwo bear. It says I love you. And I'm also updated to iOS 7. So today I'm going to be doing the Samsung Galaxy S3 case collection, the long awaited case collection for this phone and I know I need to upload my what's on my Samsung Galaxy S3 and I will do that but it's just that my YouTube won't work, my YouTube capture so yeah. Hey guys! So. This video is just going to be like, oh, hang on, I need to go and get my sunglasses. Um, this video is basically what I do um, every day for like six weeks now because I go to my nana's from my house. Yeah, this is my house and I think I need to go and find my sunglasses. Hey guys, this is Becky GXOXO and today we thought we'd do a challenge video. It's going to be called Read My Lips Challenge. And basically, you have five questions, but we're going to do ten. But we're going to do five questions on this video. Then, five questions on the next one we're going to do. And so basically you have headphones in and loud music so obviously we can't hear the questions hey guys it's Rebecca GX and you can see I'm in the car moving about yeah that's it so that's obviously you can see that if I don't know why you can see that but you know um, and we're off to Blackpool for five days and we're coming home are we coming home on the way? 31st yeah Coming up. Oh, <laughs> coming up on Halloween and yeah and yeah <laughs> it's come up there 916 Hey guys it's Michelle G XOXO XO OX and welcome to Vlogmas Day One. I don't know how many XOs I would do day one. I do apologise for the budgies in the background, they're very excited. It's Christmas, so they're very excited as well. Now I'm going to pass it over to Rebecca to, to do the rest of the Vlogmas thing. Thanks for listening to me. Bye. 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 Hey guys, it's Rebecca GXXS. So now my mum said, welcome to Vlogmas Day 1. Um, today I'm just going to be talking about what I've been doing today and also open my advent calendar. Can I see this? Morning guys! So we're off on holiday again but this time I'm going to actually upload That'd be my new shoes, have you seen that? <laughs> we're actually going to upload um, the 
days this time because last time we did have the computer and we had to wait for the cables to come because we didn't bring them so we had to wait till the next day but then the editing software didn't work so now we have one what works so it'll be all good but first we're going to the petrol station hey guys it's not the morning it's 3 12 in the afternoon but we're going to um medieval for a student night discount shopping paper thing so basically it's six while ten we don't take us three apps to get here but um we're looking around like first and then we're like getting his tea and stuff um so basically you bring your id you call it daddy and you go to this doing a different video it's not a vlog and it's not a main channel video it is a try on video my mum got everything from asda and i don't know if anything fits me so that's why i'm doing it like this she's going to do short little clips because so you don't want to see me naked because that's going to be a bit pervy so yeah um the first item is a coat um so i don't need to check anything off and it looks like this, I'll show you what it looks like first. It's purple, well not light purple. It has a fluffy hood. Hi guys, so we just off to London. It is currently 9.03 in the morning. Um, we want the coat, which is a problem to tell. Hi guys. Christmas. Hope you have an endless day. Oh, my nose just come out. Oh, I'm so tired. Even though it's like, you know, time it's because my mum's got a bit food. Um, know the hoovering. Uh, Richard got up at seven. I got up at eight. My mum got up at half past. So, yeah, we're just going to downstairs have this breakfast. Hi guys, so today I'm going to finally do it what I got for Christmas 2015 I filmed this twice already and for some reason my iPad doesn't let me upload from 15 minutes onwards so yeah I'm gonna try and make this shirt so the first person or people I'm gonna start off with is my mum and dad now my real dad doesn't give a crap about me so I call my stepdad my dad even though they're not married but he's still my oh, dad he's not my proper dad he's mad <laughs> Yeah, so um, the main gift my mum got me was when I can get it out of the thing is the Nintendo 3DS XL. This is in hot pink. Today we are going to be doing the Mosaicly to challenge. We're just waiting for um, Marvin to do a fantastic job of um, the violin on, on the, the violin. violin. It looks good. Right. So, so, so looking at if she yeah. says that. Yeah, 35 questions. I've got a feeling I'm not going to like it. Um, I can't watch it. It was 6 to 5, but I cut it down. Thank the Lord. Um, so we've got his name, so Bex and Mitch. Bex? Me. I couldn't be bothered to write. So, yeah. that mold. The first set is 10 romantic Mozart questions. Hi. So today I'm going to be doing my giveaway winner. Uh, please do excuse the face in the background. We've just but I'm back, um, so they're very excited. Um, so I'm going to announce my 200 subscriber giveaway winner. I'm just going to take a first bite and take a shovel one out. And then I'm going to take 
chunky one that. You want me to taste it? Hobby. On camera. 90p this. Mmm. Right now. Steady. Good yellow. Turn he's off. Bless him. I ain't looking for a walk today, purely because I didn't ask me. <laughs> Beg me. Until like really late and we've got like, do you like five minutes until we go? And I can't take it. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, look at your own bowl. Huh? You just finished your tea, aren't you? Oh. Let it set, but sometimes I don't do really depends. And after your concealer is done, you would move on to your blush and bronzer. I've got two different bronzers by Little Mix. I have Little Mix by Collection Bronze It. This one is Jess's. And it looks like this, it's like a real light, light shade. Okay, so I can't really talk at the moment. I think that's something else to call. Yeah, it's a I'm just hoping I've got the right shade. I'm sure I have because I'm, I am Ivory in um, NYX. So, I'm just going to go with that. Oh, this is all oh, that really soft as well. Richard had Bad vanilla and raspberry. Raspberry ripple. Yeah. Really good, isn't it? Yep. No, I've got ice cream. No, you are not. Because it's going to come off. Uh, no, it's not too bad. So, yeah. Um, and then we've been wandering around the shops and like stuff. We've got um, a brown knit. I've got an Easter one and then she's got a gluten free one. Obviously we expected it, but like not straight away. We thought she was last until the end of the year. The few ways of stepping cow bloody hell. She's the wizard and all that. Here we do a few. Now I was like really full from breakfast, but now I'm getting hungry, so. I'll see you at 
probably like when we're having dinner um, and my mum might vlog like on the way down there I'm not really sure so snipping in here hi so we've just had our dinner um, it is now like 4.40 and everyone so it is 11 no it's not 11 it's 10.35 um, and it's my birthday Baby. You always sit up here and they'll literally stay there for like hours on end. That like moving in and the queue to look like they're there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not like it was a little bit free. So I'm at Pip. Are you buying another bottle? I'm about to. Are you buying another gonk? No, I'll be punching. Oh, he's still cleaning the. Uh... Hiya. <laughs> 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 it's blurred on there. It's blurred on there. Hi. Bye. Uh, bye for now, and I'll see you. Let me get to the top. Hi everybody, so uh, since I saw you at the, at the castle, um, they've been here about like two hours. Uh, we've done some TikToks, very <laughs> questionable TikToks. Um, not to go for the public eye because we just couldn't <laughs> dance. It weren't the fact they weren't inappropriate, we didn't do inappropriate TikToks. to my mum for my shirt. I think she'll be around like an hour but I don't know so I'm just so if you guys did enjoy this video please give it a massive thumbs up for me comment down below subscribe if you're new if you're unsubscribed make sure you hit that notification bell then you'll be notified of videos like this and I will see you very very soon with a brand new video bye everybody